Morning guys, Dale here. How you doing? Um, today I got a quick little video I'm going to do. I want to show you something that I've ran into recently. A little technical issue with trying, trying to do a clean install of Windows 10 or Windows 11 on a laptop with an Intel Core i3 11th generation. You can see here I got the 11th Gen i3 1115G4 processor on this Acer computer. Now I don't know if this problem is specific to just the Acer, but it's a chipset issue with the 11th Gen core processor. I've had it twice now on these Acers. So again, I don't know if this is going to do this on other brands. My guess is yes. So let's say you want to do a clean install and you got your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB installation drive here. And again, this I have this problem whether I'm installing Windows 10 or Windows 11, a clean install. So let me shut this. I'm going to reboot the computer and I'm going to boot off my Windows installation flash drive here. Let me plug it in. I'll try not to get off in the weeds here. These are just flash drives that you create with the Windows media creation tool. So let me do a restart. And again, let's say you put in a brand new M.2 NVMe SSD. Uh, doesn't really matter what brand because I've tried like uh, Crucial, Samsung, Western Digital, uh, NVMe SSD, M.2 drives and same problem. So let me do a quick, re oop, quick restart here. And right away on this Acer, I'm going to start tapping the F11 key or F12 key so I can get to the boot menu. Because I want to boot off the flash drive because I'm going to do a clean install of Windows 10 or 11. Just got to wait for it to come up here. Okay, so here's our boot menu. And I'm going to go down to my Corsair flash drive with the Windows. In this case, I'll show you with Windows 10. Going to boot off of it. And this does it. I have this problem even with the factory installed NVMe SSD. And now you're going to go to next. Assuming you're doing a clean install, you can hit install now, or you just install the new SSD, an NVMe SSD in the laptop. Now let's show you how to fix it. You accept the terms, you hit next, you do a custom, and typically all your partitions would show up in the list here where you want to install Windows. You can see it's not detecting the drive. Right now I have a crucial P5 NVMe SSD in here, but it'll do this with the factory installed drive. So you couldn't even do a clean install. So I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to go back into Windows real quick. Sorry, I keep hitting no. <laughs> I just want to do a restart. I'll get back into Windows. What we're going to have to do, we got to in, in, um, download, go on the internet, go right to Intel's website, and we're going to download the driver we need to load at that screen there with the blank box and throw it on a flash drive which I already have plugged into the laptop over on the other side with the necessary driver because we're going to have to manually load the driver. For whatever reason Windows 10 or 11 set up USB drives do not load that. So I'm going to open up, uh, alright I'm connected, I'm going to open up my Chrome browser and I'm going to have a link down below of the exact name of this file in case you run into this problem. You want to make sure you get this right from Intel, not some third party site. So the name of the file is f6flpy-x64.zip. Um, we're going to do a Google search, scroll down. It's the Rapid Store Technology and Optane Driver. Right here is the link for it. Again, I'll put this down below. And you're going to go down and you're going to download this first one right here. That's the name of the file I just gave you. It says, um, uh, I just want to make sure you get the right one here. Yes, this is, I'm sorry, this is the one that we need right here. Um, so you download it, which I've already done. And, well, let me just do it and I'll show you. It's a very tiny little file. The show in folder. Go out here and stick it on the desktop. I haven't had to deal with this issue in many years. So I'm just going to make a new folder. You can call the folder anything you want. You can call it Intel Driver. Just leave it new folder if you want. It doesn't matter. 
and I'm going to paste it into the folder. I'm going to right click on it, hit extract all, and just let it extract right into that folder that we just made. And here's the files that we're going to need right there. Okay, like I said, I've already, and then just copy, when, when, you can take this whole folder right here and just copy it onto your flash drive. Like here's, uh, here's mine right here. I know it says HP Tools, but you can name it anything you want, as long as you know where to find it. Okay, so put that file in a folder, extract it, name the folder, whatever you want, just so you can find it, it doesn't matter, and throw it on a flash drive. An empty flash drive, make it a little easier so you're not looking through all kinds of files. So like I said, I already got it, I already got it in the other USB port over there, along with my Windows install drive. So let me do a quick restart. I'm going to go back and boot up my Windows 10 install USB drive. Windows 10 or Windows 11. So let me get in the way here and hit my F12 key. Alright, so we're going to boot up our Windows install USB drive. Maybe this is something though. I, I don't know why it's doing this, but I haven't had this problem. And I've done lots of 11th gen core processors, but in case you run into it, you'll know what to do. It's not the end of the world. So we'll just hit next. We're going to hit install now. I'm not actually going to do the clean install, but I'm just going to show you how to load the driver. All right, accept the license. Hit next. We're going to do custom. You can see it's still blank. So down here where it says load driver, we're going to have to click on that. We're going to go to browse right here. Click on browse. Then there's my flat, my flash drive with that file on it that we extracted from Intel. It's called HP Tools. That's just the name of the flash drive. So I'm going to double click that. Going to Intel RST driver. That's the folder. And I'm going to click this one right here. Uh, and I'll just click that one. We'll hit OK. And you can see, boom, the two show right up. Just take the first one. By default, just hit Next. Gonna take a second here to do its thing. And there you go. There's your SSD. Whether you got a brand new blank one in there, or in this case, you can go through and del delete all your partitions if you're doing a clean install. But that's what you gotta do with the 11th gen Intel processor and the new chipset driver so I'm just going to cancel this and if you have a different brand or a different type of computer um, even on a 10th gen according to Intel this could happen but that's all you got to do I hope the video was helpful guys thanks for watching have a great day